We'll, we'll just get that second angle and... Oh, God. <laughs> hey, everyone. It's Lauren from Hot for Food, and this is episode three of our new series, t Test Kitchen. Thanks so much to t for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this series. Now, you probably saw our first test kitchen where we tried the Clipso pressure cooker. We also tried the Active Fry, both amazing. But today, I'm gonna show you how to use the t multi-cook and grains. This is it right here. It is gonna save your life. It's gonna make you a kitchen wizard, I promise. Now, there's nothing like it on the market. There are multi-cookers out there, but the t multi-cook and grains is the only appliance that has the unique express soaking and cooking functions for beans and legumes. And that's why today I'm gonna show you how to make a one pot chana masala. It's super tasty. You're gonna do it all in the t multi cooking grains. We're gonna make the rice in this. We're gonna soak the chickpeas and we're gonna cook the curry to perfection. Cooking your beans and legumes from dry is actually very inexpensive and it actually preserves more nutrients as well. And I know you guys rag on me all the time because I usually use canned beans and chickpeas, but it's mainly because I don't have time for all of the soaking. You have to do it overnight or at least six to eight hours, but we're gonna be able to soak the chickpeas in the t multi-cooking grains for one hour and 40 minutes. And then it intuitively takes you through all the settings so you can get into the cooking. All right, this could not be any easier, especially if you don't love cooking and meal prepping. And actually I think it's really good if you live in a college dorm or something where you don't have access to a kitchen. Um, so you're just gonna set up your chickpea setting and we're gonna do serving for four. And then you're going to insert the soaking basket and then it tells you exactly how much of the grain or bean and the water you need based on the serving size. So you're using the measuring cup that comes with the appliance. So now it tells you how much water you need to add and you're gonna use the liquid measuring cup that comes with the appliance. So now we're ready to go and it's gonna soak. So it's done soaking and it tells you what to do. You take out the soaking basket, you rinse and drain the chickpeas and then you put them back in here and we're gonna add all the ingredients for the chana masala. We're gonna add a diced onion, we're gonna add minced garlic, add minced ginger, add vegetable oil, maple syrup, this is a chicken flavored bouillon base, but it's vegan. So you could use this or a cube or a veggie stock cube. The vegan chicken flavor though, just has all the right spices that give this a nice taste. I'm adding three dried chilies, which makes it a medium spice. So you can add less or more. Now we're gonna add all of our spices. One tablespoon of cumin, coriander, and garam masala. And then a teaspoon of turmeric, cardamom, mango powder, and sea salt. So if you don't have mango powder or you can't find it, that's okay, you can leave it out. It just adds a little bit of that brightness that you expect in a chana masala. You can actually find it in the ethnic or Indian spice aisle of a lot of grocery stores. Okay, so almost everything is in there. We're gonna add the water and it will prompt you and tell you exactly how much to add. And so you can add water if you have the bouillon base or you can add just straight vegetable stock as your liquid. Okay, so now the auto cook function kicks in and it takes all the guesswork out. You don't have to keep checking on the food to see if it's done because the machine knows how much liquid's in there and how much food is in there and it will cook it perfectly. But you're gonna set your own timer for an hour and then after that you're gonna add the acidic ingredients which is a can of fire roasted tomatoes, fresh tomatoes and some lemon juice. And the reason you add that near the end of cooking is because the acidity actually prevents the chickpeas from cooking thoroughly. So other than that, we're good to go and we're almost done. There it is, the one pot chana masala. I have garnished it with red onions and cilantro. I've got a toasted roti and brown rice that I cooked in the T-Fowl multi-cooking grains. There's a brown rice setting, as well as many, many, many other settings. Gotta eat it, gotta try it. Oh, for pepper. <laughs> Make sure you don't eat the chili peppers. Well, you can if you want. Mmm! 
Oh man. That is some restaurant style chana. Mm. So cozy. The Tefal Multi Cooking Grains is brand new to Canada and available now. So check the description below for links to get your very own, as well as to get the recipe for my chana masala. And the appliance has so many other functions. It's got a risotto function, a yogurt function, a bread making, baking function, like so many other things, it's awesome. So if you like this, next week I will be doing Tefal Test Kitchen live and showing you another unique function of the appliance. So make sure you're tuned in 5 p.m. Eastern time next Wednesday. We will be live. I'll be answering your questions, hanging out, and of course, cooking on the fly, live. It's gonna be so much fun. Make sure you're subscribed to Hop for Food so you get that notification. And if you make this recipe or any recipes from our channel, tag at Hop for Food on social media. All right, thank you for watching. I'm gonna dig right in again. I'll see you later. See you next week. Bye.